everyone, welcome back to another hack video where we show you fast tips on how you can use or optimize the Practice Hunter platform. I'm Shelly Myers, and today we're going to talk about how to quickly and easily create a client note from a completed form. So welcome and let's dive in. We're going to head over to my demo platform. I'm going to turn off my camera. But let's say you have a client coming in for a session and they had just completed a form that you sent them and you want to convert that into a note so you can see what they had responded to in the form and then you can either update it or you can add to it during your session. So let's head over to my demo client, Maddie John. And let's go in and look at the form that Maddie had completed. So recently I sent Maddie the Get Ready to Set Goals or because the session that we have coming up is a goal setting, it's very focused on goal setting. So I want to convert this completed form into a note. So I'm just gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna click here and say, create note. And when I do that, I have the option to convert this over to just a blank template but because for this type of session, I already have client goal setting focus sessions. This is a session that I do with almost all of my clients. So I want to convert this completed form into this using this template. I'm gonna click on that. And then you have several options here. So if you want just all the questions to come over into the note, regardless of if they've been answered or not. So that way you have the actual questions there. That's typically what I do because during the session, I like to fill those in. If the client didn't answer those questions, I fill those in during our session together. But if you only wanted questions that were answered, that would be the question and answers of those that were answered, you can click this. Now, if you want to unselect all of these and then just select the few that you want to go over, you can click on unselect all. So typically, I do all um, questions, but it really depends on what type of form it is. So now we have our template and then we have the questions that we want. So I'm going to click on create. So now we've actually created this for the section. Now, if I wanted to link this to the session, I could just come over here and I could say link to booking and then I can link it to that section, that specific section. So we're not gonna do that here, but I just wanna show you where you can do that. So now you'll see that this is, these are actually the questions and then how my query have answered those questions in my form. And then down here, I have a section. So this is where I'm just gonna take my notes and I don't actually share this section with the client. But I'm gonna click here because I do wanna share, down at the bottom I have a section where I personalize. I have a um, placeholder in here for their first name and then I'm thanking them for coming into the goal session. Goal setting focus session. And then um, typically I'll have a plan of action and then the top three things to focus on before our next session. And this is something that I go over with my client that we agree upon. And I really like to just share this section with the client just to remind them of what our plan of action is and where they need to focus. So the nice thing about this is that you can add during our session, you can just continue to add to it. So if Addie's goal is that she wanted to have a deep restful sleep for eight hours each night. But then during our session, she realized like that's just a little bit of a stretch goal. Like she's really hoping because right now she's maybe sleeping four or five hours. So she changed her mind and, you know, says I could just put in here, Annie would like to change this to around seven hours per night. So whatever you want to add in here, but if you want to keep track of what you added, so I could come in here and I could bold this and I could maybe change the color. So I know that this information is what my client, how they answered in the form. And then anything in blue or whatever color you choose is what I added to that note. But again, it's just saving a lot of time because I'm not reading 
typing what my client already entered into their form. But I can just remind them and drill deeper into their responses during our session. And then again, I can just quickly share this section with them at the end. I don't even need to email it or anything. I'm just going to click on save. And then when I click on save and exit, I want to send them a confirmation that they have new notes that were shared with them. But again, they're only going to get that bottom session. So I can click save and share. And now my client has those session notes. But you can see how easy it is to just take a completed form and convert it into notes. So let's go back here. So I hope this was helpful. We really love doing these hack videos for you. If you have any suggestions of other hack videos that you would like, or if you have any questions on the video that I just showed you, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.